I know some of you are waiting for this video. This is the ultimate comparison of iPhone 14 Pro versus a Sony ZV-1F. Let's go to work. Let's start with the talking head video for these two devices. Right now, I'm shooting with the Sony ZV-1F using the internal microphone. It has a fast and bright 20mm f2.0 lens and we're shooting in 4K 30fps on XAVC-S format. The great thing about this camera is it has non-moving parts. So I actually sold my Sony ZV-1 and my Canon G7X Mark III because of this reason. This has contrast detection autofocus. This is not the best in the market. But as you can see, because of the autofocus of Sony, this is pretty good. It has the Sony Eye autofocus technology. It detects the eyes and follows it. And this is vlogging early morning and the colors are pretty good. The contrast and the shadows compared to a smartphone. So my setup is pretty minimal. So I only have the monopod and the dead cat on the camera. Still shooting 4K 30 FPS. And it's what it looks like using the Sony ZV-1F. This also has the product showcase functionality. So if you're reviewing a product, you can simply put that in front of you and it will focus on the product. Nice. So this is the Sony ZV-1F. I think this is a pretty good vlogging camera, one of the cheapest that you can buy in the market. And I highly suggest that you buy this over the competitors. If you're just doing talking head video like this, and if you're a beginner YouTuber, this is the camera that you should buy. So that's it for the talking head of the Sony ZV-1. Now let's check the iPhone 14 Pro. And this is the iPhone 14 Pro on a talking head video. And this is the framing that you would get on the iPhone 14 Pro around 24 millimeter because it has 24 millimeter f1.8 or f1.9 i'm actually googling it right now 24 millimeter f1.8 i think the sony zv1 f has 20 megapixel sensor iphone 14 pro has 48 megapixel 1 over 1.28 inch sensor the sensor is smaller than the sony zv1 f but with all the software processing and tricks iphone 14 pro is a really good phone for vlogging Right now, I'm shooting in 4K 30fps using the MOV file. And like the Sony ZV-1F, this phone has non-moving ports. So you can actually vlog and just take it out on your pocket and start recording. But I think the advantage of iPhone 14 Pro over the Sony ZV-1F is it's using face detection autofocus. And wherever I go, iPhone 14 Pro will focus on me. And if I would be matching the look of the Sony ZV-1F, this is iPhone 14 Pro, using the selfie camera, 4K 30fps, again with minimal setup, I'm only using the monopod, and there's no external microphone attached to the smartphone. You see the colors are better, it's more saturated than Sony ZV-1F. It doesn't have a product showcase capability, but the autofocus is really fast. Now let's check the other two lenses of the iPhone 14 Pro. This is the ultra wide sensor of the iPhone 14 Pro. And as you can see, you can see my desk. This is my review units. You can probably see more in the background as well. But in terms of image quality, because I'm vlogging right now on a dim condition, this might not be as good as the main sensor. It also has a three times optical zoom, but I'm not sure if you're using this for vlogging. Later, we will test the zoom capability of both devices, but for now, I think we're good with the main sensor and the ultra wide. But there's also one mode on the iPhone 14 Pro that matches a proper camera, which is the cinematic mode, and we will try that. And this is the cinematic mode of iPhone 14 Pro. This is not as good as the Sony ZV-1F, but I think it's blurrier than the 2.0 of Sony ZV-1F. The blur is just artificial, but if you're just viewing this on a smartphone, you wouldn't know the difference. So this is the talking head video of Sony ZV-1F and iPhone 14 Pro. Now let's check the audio test. Alright, so this is the audio test using the Sony ZV-1F using the internal microphone. Now we're switching to the external microphone. So this is how it sounds like using an external microphone. We're using a lapel mic and we're connecting through a 3.5mm jack TRS. 
What I like about Sony ZV-1F is it is versatile because there's a lot of microphone that you can buy on this camera. And these are professional microphone that you can think of from shotgun microphone, lapel, and even wireless microphone that you can buy cheap on Amazon. If you're new to YouTube and you want to create really good content with really good video quality, I would suggest you go with Sony ZV-1F because it is the cheapest way to vlog using a proper camera. So again, this is the test of the audio of Sony ZD-1F. Now let's switch to the iPhone 14 Pro. All right, next is the iPhone 14 Pro and this is the internal microphone of the phone. And now we're switching to the external microphone. And this is the audio quality that's coming out of the iPhone 14 Pro using the Lightning to TRRS cable using the same lapel microphone. So the good thing about iPhone 14 Pro is there's a lot of good quality microphone from Amazon like the Saramonic shotgun mic. Or sorry, this is actually a condenser microphone omnidirectional. This setup is less intrusive because it's a smartphone and you're just putting like microphone to have better audio quality on a smartphone. The good thing about this smartphone is although you have Sony ZD-1F that is cheaper, if you already have the iPhone 14 Pro, then you don't need to buy another camera for vlogging. So yeah, let's try this omnidirectional microphone from Saramonic. It's the SP Mic 510 to see how the audio quality sounds like. So this is the sound of the Saramonic SP Mic 510. This is the capsule-like omnidirectional microphone that you can use on your iPhone 14 Pro. So if you're outdoors that is windy, this will pick up the wind noise of the surroundings. So this is the audio test of these two devices. Now let's check the stabilization. So this is the sound quality of iPhone 14 Pro outdoors. This is using the internal microphone of the iPhone. And this is the Sony ZD-1F. This is without the wind muff or the dead cat. And this is what it sounds like. In terms of vlogging, I like the Sony Z1F more because it has a flip out screen and I can see myself on the recording. Well, for iPhone 14 Pro, if I want to have a better looking video, I have to use the rear camera, the main sensor, and I would be able to see myself. So this is a little bit of low light test for the iPhone 14 Pro and the Sony ZV-1F. Later we will do the pitch black condition, but I just want to show you when you're on a challenging situation like this and see how the noise reduction performs on both of these devices. I would think that the Sony ZV-1F would perform better because it has a one inch sensor, but with all the software manipulation of the iPhone 14 Pro, who knows, it may perform better. So this is the pitch black condition of iPhone 14 Pro and Sony ZV-1F. And which do you think is better? I know iPhone 14 Pro will probably compensate on software processing, but the Sony ZD-1F has a bigger sensor to control those low light situation. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Is it the iPhone 14 Pro or Sony ZD-1F for low light vlogging? So this is the ultimate comparison video of iPhone 14 Pro and Sony ZD-1F. Which do you think is better? Leave your comment down below. Four,